Hi everyone, it's Gail and it is Marguerite Miller Collage Day and then I'm going to work on some tags. I have a lot of tag bases. I need to kind of get it all sorted and get some made because my tags are getting a little low. So um, let's get started. I want to say hi and hugs to Connie, Ellen, Mary, and Rebecca. Thank you so much for watching and your kind comments. Okay, we have got week eight this, this time. And we've got person or people. I picked this little picture of these sweet little girls. This is out of a, um, a Somerset magazine. I'm not sure which one. Uh, business cards. I've got three here. I think I'm going to use this one actually. Um, anything related to the sea. I've got some stickers and then a vegetable plant. Um, I have something for that. A map and a charm. Ooh, I didn't think, well, we can grab, we can grab that. Okay. So let's get started. I actually have a little bit of a plan because um, I really wanted to spend a lot of time on my <laughs> on my tags. I have just used so much ephemera lately that I really um, am down on the pre-made ephemera and can't have that. It takes me too long to make a journal then. I like to have some stuff made up ahead of time too so so anyway we're gonna take care of this tag situation and part of that is because um i have some tag bases that we made jelly printing on monday okay i think i've got that pretty well covered and i want that to be like right there as it sticks to itself. Eek. Okay. That's good. Okay. So there is that. And then um, what I was thinking of doing, let me move this out of the way a little bit, is I think I'll make my little girls a pocket for my prompts. And this is um this is uh one of Rachel's new Roxy Creations Botanical Kit Four, I think it's called. And so I'm actually just going to um just kind of put that like that. And then this will be thicker. I think I'm just yeah, I think I'm just going to put that right like that. Okay. I think I have a plan. Okay. So, yeah. Anyway, this is kind of a bonus video. We were going to go to my granddaughter's basketball game, but it's supposed to snow along the way. Not here, but um, along the way to get to her, to get to their town. So, we decided not to. We kind of are of the feeling that two old people out on the road in the winter is probably not the best idea. Okay, so putting that down like that, I don't know. It's going to be a little weird, but okay. So then here, I'm going to just tear this off and we'll have a little piece of collage fodder and who knows we may end up using that in this we don't know we don't know how this is gonna go but okay and then this I guess I can do this and then trim it okay it's not quite the, oh, I could just take that off though, couldn't I? Yeah, I could. I've already, um, already done the inking, but that's okay. I can re-ink that and then I'll take a little off the top. Hey, that worked. All right. 
So now this, I actually think I'm going to turn that over a little bit, make a little, make it a little stronger along the edge. There is a little line here that I can go along. Help me, help me do it a little more straight. Okay, so there's that. Let's So I'm not entirely certain of placement here, but I will figure it out. Okie dokie. So this I was thinking of putting like right kind of right there. It's not sticking right there. shoddy gluing on my part, no doubt. Okay. So, but then I've got the, this card. Maybe I can kind of put it right up there and it can kind of be on the edge. The card like that. Um, let's see. People. Okay, so we just really have then the plants and things. So I think that'll work. This is, this card is for Sarah at the mushroom market. Oh, she wrote on the back. Okay, she's just, hmm. Hmm. Oh, well, I'm going to, I think I have other messages from Sarah that are in my um, correspondence journal. Ah. No coordination today. Okay, so yeah, so I wasn't even going to have time to to do a video today, but... I did because we're not going. Sadly, I would have liked to see her play, but gosh, I just just don't like to take any chances out on the road. Let's just get this pocket down. So I'm gonna go these three sides. It's probably deeper than we need, but that's okay. Okay, so kind of want to be right about there, I think. Should be good. Okay. So, yeah. Volleyball is starting up as well. So, we'll have we have three granddaughters that do club volleyball now cuz my son's daughter is doing it as well. And so, we're going to be busy with that. Mike just made reservations um, at a hotel where we're, we're taking my son's daughter. They're going to be out of town. So we're going to take her and, um, and then my daughter and her family will be staying there too, which will be super fun. But oh my land, have you guys <laughs> booked a hotel lately? I couldn't believe how expensive it was. Kind of made me, oh boy, a little bit sick to my stomach. Um, yeah, super expensive. It's crazy. Okay. So then that will go in there. Okay, so now I need, I need some, that's going in there. I need a vegetable plant. Well, you guys, all I could come up with for a vegetable plant is a mushroom. So, I guess that's what we'll do is a mushroom. I'm wondering if I could just put 
These need a little extra glue always, but I'm thinking this guy could just go up the side there. Let's, let's glue him though. I was thinking he could just kind of go like that. Okay. Okay, and then things related to the sea, I have some, you know, fish and stuff. A little hmm. vegetable plant. I don't know. Okay, I think, where does this sound? Let's, let's poke you out of there. I think I'm going to put this little octopi right there. And then, um, I think what I'll do is put some seashells up here in the corner. Ooh, but I want to do something with a charm right there. Yes, I do. So I'll put it over a bit. So I'm going to put that one there. This one here. And then there's a little starfish here. I'll put a starfish right there. Okay. So all we have left then is the charm. And so I was thinking I'd like to kind of reinforce the side of the page a bit right here. Um, actually, I already took it out, but let's see if we, I was wondering if I wrapped a, wrapped a sticker of some sort, actually. This one kind of goes with the colors. Okay, I'm gonna see. Oh, I forgot to glue those other seashells, but that's okay if it comes off. It's just mine. I can re-glue it. So I'm thinking about going like here, like that, and flipping it over to this other side. And then let's put an eyelet in. Oops. Okay. Just going to do that. And then let's just go right in here. Here, and I'm just going to use a, a gold. I don't use those very much, and so I hope I'm not off camera, but I'm just getting that in there. Okay. So now we need some sort of a charm. Because I do tend to do the whole challenge. Let's just look in my little charm thing. Ooh, that could be nice, huh? Okay. We'll just put that in there. And then I need a bulb pin. Got one. Ooh, I really like how this came together. Okay, so that is going to go on there. And then it can hang out the side, except I kind of like it like that to look at. 
Okay, then the only other thing is I thought I could tear this down and possibly use a little splash of this color here or there maybe. Let's just see if, if we like it or if we don't. Okay, so almost like washi tape is what I was thinking. I was thinking of, yeah, I think I'm gonna put that there. This was one page that I needed to cover up the whole thing because it didn't really mesh with my theme at all. <laughs> Let's see, let's just go clear to the bottom. Just like that. Yeah, I like that and I want I want some along there too. More or less like washi. Let's see if that's gonna I want it this way. So I need to tear it right about here. Okay. Okay, I'm just going to slide that under and get it up to the corner. That down like that. Okay, and then I think I want a little piece just right there. Just so I have the, can have the three. How about just right there? I just want the color, I think. Okay, I think we may have week eight completed. Yeah, yay, I like it. I'm gonna leave that stick out just a tiny bit. So we've got our people or persons. We have a business card. We have things related to the sea. We have a vegetable plant. Yeah, we're pushing that a little bit maybe, but the map underneath and the bonus charm. Woohoo, look at us, we did it. Oh my gosh, I love that one. That one might be one of my favorites so far. Isn't it funny how it, just gonna blend that in a little bit. Yeah, it's just, I don't know. It's funny, the ones that kind of come together and hit you and you're like, yes, I like that. Okay, cool, done. Let's get on. Let's get on to the situation of no tags in Gail's craft room. Let's keep that out. Okay, I'm just going to move this over. And show you what I'm talking about. <laughs> ay, ay, ay. Okay, so do we have a lot? Well, yeah, good. We have a lot of time left. Um, this little guy fell out of something. He's a tiny Tim Holtz person. We'll put him aside for a sec. Okay, so this is just the beginning of some sort of background. So I think I need a pile of, okay, these tags need more background stuff. This one, I think once it's um, distressed will be good. This one will be good. These are from the jelly printing sessions. And then this one I love this one. This one's like ready to rock and roll, as are these. They're ready to have some collage and whatever. Okay. This one I feel like needs more. I don't like using the strings. It's probably wasteful of me, but I have a bunch of them that are coffee dyed and I still haven't used them. This one needs a bit more, but I think this, let's make a pile. Okay, these are done. These need more background. This just needs more ink, I feel like. So, and same with this one. I think a few little inks and stuff, and those will be fine. This one, 
I love it. This one's done. Ready to go. Okay, and I feel like this green one needs more, needs like distress ink or something. It's doesn't need more paint. Okay, and then we have, these are ones that um, I think they were Distress Ink mop-ups and I just flicked black on them. And so these are really ready to be backgrounds for tags. All of these are ready. Okay. This actually is a done tag. It's done. Needs to go in where I know to use it. Okay, this needs a bit of Distress Ink. This one needs some collage or something. That's just a doodle paper that I did. This one we could call done. These are just some tags from my mixed media days. Actually, it needs a little ink, so we'll do that. This one needs collaging on. This one needs collage. I don't love that one. I'm gonna make a stack of I don't love them because I don't need to use every single thing I make, right? I don't think so. Okay, I think these are ready for collage or whatever. So we have these to work with. Okay, but then there's this. <laughs> ay, ay, ay. So let's see what we have. Okay, this is a little bit of brushos. These are brushos tags. Um, I'm going to put them in the needs ink one. Okay. These are blank. So that's a whole nother category. These just need to be decorated. I feel like this needs to be collaged over. It was a uh, stamping gone wrong. I mean, I don't mind the key, but this isn't great. That's not great. So that one needs to be redone. That's one we could work on. That'd be good. This one's ready, except it needs decorating. Um, I'm going to say this one needs more ink. This is just, it's just paper. Okay, I'm going to say that just needs to be decorated. And then I'm going to put these in my to-do box instead of in this, this, this is sort of, this little basket can be the works in progress. That needs more. That maybe just needs ink. There's a blank one. This one can be decorated. This needs a little mosaic, doesn't it? But it's plain, so it'll go in there. And then these are like fiber paper type things. And I think they're sent to me, and I'm not quite sure. They need to be backed. Okay, so we need a needs to be backed pile too. Okay, so then let's go through these quickly. This is just ugly. I don't even know what to do with that. That's a, one of my mixed media back in the day. I don't know. I'll put it in the distress ink, but if I can't save it that way. And these are some, that one can be decorated. These are some that I did that I don't like either. I'm gonna put those in the get rid of pile. These are just painty ones. I kinda love those. This one's nice. These are from Back in the day. I think I want a little more ink around them. So we'll do that. Okay. These look like my friend Carrie's collaging. That's what those look like. This one really just needs inking. And it's ready. These are definitely bases. Yep. I think this is from Carrie. I love them. These are mine, I think. You can tell by the glue that's coming out. <laughs> okay, let's 
just glue that down while we're at it. Okay, um, so bases, 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 right? That's a base. This one, I think, these two I'd like to just sew. So I'm going to put those in that need more. This one might be okay, but definitely needs ink in the background. This one I'm going to gesso too. I don't love the, um, I don't love this paper. Ooh, that's pretty. That's kind of pretty just as it is. I'm going to call that a done tag. Do we want to put anything there? I could put a label or something. Let's put that in the decorate. These don't excite me. This I love. Can't remember who sent those, but I don't know how they do it, but they do it somehow on their sewing machine. So that's a base too. Okay, so all those are bases. Good, good grief. Okay, this is one of my woven tags. And another one. Okay, and then the brushos. I had a session with my granddaughters playing with the brushos, and that's what all these are. But really, they're ready to have something else done to them. Stamping or, you know, collaging on. This one has stamped already. Um, I'm going to call those ready. That one, I think all three of these could just be decorated. I think I'll get rid of the strings. The strings kind of make it harder to um, store them too, I feel like. So just do that. Okay. This one has modeling paste on it. It's really, it's really basically done. These two are. This one could have maybe a little book page or something. Mm, that's cool. That just needs to be decorated. I'm going to call that one done. I love that one. And this one's been doodled on and everything. I feel like it needs a focal point. This one is done. This one needs a focal point. And this is a whole different kind, but we'll put it at the back. Well, I should have enough tag bases to work with, don't you think? These came from someone. Um, they're sort of a category all of their own. I think I'm just going to pop those over here. Let's see here what we else we have. Just some little coffee dyed ones. Obviously need more. I'm going to put those with the blank ones. This is just... Um, Scrap looking paper. These came from someone. They had, I don't know if they painted them or how they did that, but I'm going to put those with the blank tags because, in essence, they are. Okay, these are scrapbooking paper here. These are blank. I'll put those with the blank too. Okay, and then we have embossed tags. Some more scrap of paper tags. Okay, I'm going to go through these and I'm going to say yes or no. No, no, yes, yes. Yes, no, yes, yes, no, no. And these are going to go in kind of my do something else with them. And these can be decorated. And then we've got a couple more brushos there. And then I have teeny weeny tiny tags that somebody, somebody gave me. I think these are, it's a matter of just kind of remembering that they're there. Okay. So we're in good shape here. Um, these need to be inked. These need like paint and stuff. So I'm going to put those over in my mixed media area. 
that's where those are gonna go. These are blank. Put those at the front. These need inking. And these are embossed. And then the rest of them, we can kind of work with for a little bit here. Okay, dokey. Um, let's do something with that one first. And I think what we're going to do is just play. I've got some fun um, collage papers. Let me show you. Uh, that I printed recently. Um, these ones are from a shop called Paper Princess something. And they're real pretty. Um, one of my subbies told me about them, thought they, that I'd like them, and I do. And I think they'd make great backgrounds, too. And then I have um, Lorna TaylorMade Journals, her new um, shabby chic wallpaper, which has some really fun designs in it. So there's that. And then I have the whole kit of Rachel's Botanical number four kit. So have those I can play with as well as, you know, all the other stuff. <laughs> okay. Oh gosh. Let's see. I don't even really know where to begin, but let's just grab this. You know what I'm going to grab for this is some of my painty tags. Let's see if we've got, or painty scraps, I mean, not tags. Let's see if we have a piece of something that would fit right down there, like that. Let's play with that a little bit. Okay. Yeah, I just, I'm just thinking I need to, I need to kind of, Just need to get a little a, a few of these these done so that all right so that covers up that that awful thing there and then I think we can collage over that I don't mind keeping the key so yeah so anyway let's play Let's do a little, do a little decorating. Oh, these papers, I love them. <laughs> it was a lot of days of work to do them, so I don't know that I'll do them again anytime soon, but I sure enjoyed playing with them, that's for sure. Okay, so I'm just going to cut that off. All of a sudden, it's very quiet in here. It's like the heater goes off and it's like dead silence. <laughs> Makes me uncomfortable. Okay, so I like this little stamp here in the, the lines and stuff. I wonder if we could just... I put that there. Sort of feels like it's kind of out of nowhere. I like that better. Yeah, I like that right there. That's the wrong side, but that's okay. It's the opposite side from what we decorated. Okay, I kind of want something up there because I don't like how it's squared off right there. So we'll put this up there and see if we like that. Okay. Oh gosh. Just needed a big old breath there. 
so excited about my collage this day. Sometimes it's like, well, it's done. <laughs> I don't love it that much, but it's done. But this one made me happy. I think a lot of it was those, that cute picture of those little girls. Okay. So now I feel like we're ready to maybe... No, I want a little book page right there or something. Let's... Use my creaky chair, my creaky, creaky chair. Oh, goodness. Okay, got some book page here. What if we put that kind of right there? I like that, I think. Oh, and then I've got, I've been trying to um, rearrange, get my mixed media stuff over in my mixed media area, get the all the journal stuff over here. And so I went through some drawers today and um, I have a ton of like, what's this called? Like, uh, oh, yeah, um, Seven Gypsies stuff. And so I want to go through that, too. I think possibly we need a Tim Holtz person on that. Just going to say. Probably a, a bit taller one. Um, I don't think I want a group. I think that'd be too wide. Yeah, I think they're mostly, yeah, mostly too wide. So we'll just go with a, go with a solo here. Oh my gosh, how cute is that? Oh, I love that. Look, just that quick, we've got our, got our person for on there. I'm really, really out of tags with any Tim Holtz people on them. So, this will be good. And then I can get into my drawer of um, little fabric remnants and um, the branding strips off fabric and stuff for some sort of little tie for at the top. Okay, I love her. She's really cute. And then she just kind of is at the corners of all the different, um, of all the different uh, pieces and she just kind of brings it together. Do you think we need a like a word up there? Oh, what about no? I don't want that. Um, let's see if there's a Tim Holtz word that we like for her. Hmm. I know it was another big sigh, wasn't it? There's the word girl. That's, that's descriptive. <laughs> girl. Oh, she's so cute. Um, kind of like the word soulful, but I feel like we could almost do like a phrase. There's enough room there. Um... How about with brave wings she flies? She doesn't have wings though. I'm gonna 
to do Hello My Darling. I think that's cute. And we'll just put that right there. Yeah. I like that. Okay, cool. Now, onward and upward. Let's see, should we just go ahead and finish it, finish it, and put a, we could actually, some of these other ones that are done, we could grab a, a tie for two. Um, I always like kind of the plain ties for the Tim Holtz ones, and this is, <laughs> this is Tim Holtz fabric, so that's appropriate. Come on through. Sorry, I'm fumbly. There. Finally. There we go. There's that little one. I like it. Perfect. Okay, so that one's done. Where are we at? We've got, we've got a little bit of time. Let's see what we have. You know what? Look at this. This is leather from somewhere. Yeah, it's just a thin strip of leather. Yeah, that's good, yeah. Okay, another one down. Eee, this one's so, you know, I'm gonna put this with, it needs some gesso or something. It's just too bright. I know I won't use it. Okay, and this one doesn't need one. Okay, cool. All right, let's do another one. Kind of see, I think there's a few of these that should be quick to do, like, like this one. Maybe just a bit of um, dulling down that a little bit, and then I'm thinking a little book page and a little Tim Holtz or a flower or something, and it'll be, it'll be good. Uh, some good book page here. Ooh, I like this. With the... Here's some that is Kind of like that. There was a lot of purple right there. Make it better towards the bottom. Yep, I think I'm going to put that right there. This is just, this is paper or book page that I was using to distress ink on and it makes it a pretty cool background. Um, we have over here, I'd like to use some of this stuff that came out of the drawers, you know, oh, that's cute. Not for this maybe, but. Okay. Taco seasoning. 
Oh, what's this? A hunch is creativity trying to tell you something. Hmm. Okay. Well, not for this one, but appreciate the sentiment. I wonder if, do I have a, just two people that would fit on there? Yeah, they're just pretty. These are pretty, pretty big. Need something to have his elbow on. So does this little dude. That's cute, isn't it? I really like those on there. Okay. I think I'm on it. Tim Holtz people kick because I was cleaning, you know, as, as I was saying, I was putting things here and there and I have a drawer of extra Tim Holtz ephemera and things and some extra people in there. And I was like, oh, I don't think I have any Tim Holtz tags with Tim Holtz people. Oop, we've got a little pokey outy right there. Okay. Yep, I'm going to put them on there. not sure why but I'm feeling snoozy I slept good last night and everything don't know okay and do we want again do we want another little word or something um i did see in here family maybe yeah i think i might use this together right here glue stick right here. Might as well use it, I guess. Okay. There's another one done. I'll look for a topper later. Okay. Look at this one. This is an interesting one. I almost feel like some, uh, excuse my chair, <laughs> so embarrassing. I was all thinking like a mushroom or something, but I don't know. None of those are really grabbing me. So let's look in our regular mushroom place. Um, 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 um. Gosh, it's getting dark outside. I think that's that snow that's supposed to come. I don't know. I just kind of feel... I'm feeling a mushroom for this. That and a label, I think. It's the colors just has a bit of a mushroom vibe to it let's just give that a bit of ink around the edges this 
so I have to, after I get done, I, I need to keep cleaning on my craft room because my friend is coming over tomorrow afternoon. And <laughs> like, I wouldn't want anyone to see her right now. But I'm thinking that then I could maybe do a craft room tour video because I've been promising that and haven't gotten it done. Okay, how about a label of some sort? That's not too bad. It's too much. Like the other one better. Um, how about that one? Is that too big? It's a bit big, but I like it because it's got the cut some of the colors. I'm gonna, I'm doing it. Just gonna be a rebel and do it. Okay. All right. Then that one's done. Okay, there's a little mushroom tag. Yeah, use having the backgrounds already. It's just, it's just the best thing. Let's see. Maybe we should do like a. I don't know. Let's do a brush of one. We've got a little bit of time. Let's do this little punch on it. This is um. This is a We Are Memories Keeper. We Are Memory Keepers Euro Punch, and it is on my favorite things. So I really, I really do like that punch. I've had a few people say they hate it. But I guess my art, my choice, right? <laughs> I said it makes my makes my tags look cheap, like they came off of a dollar store rack or something. So whatever. Okay, so all distressed up and ready for some stuff. What I find hard with these is I hardly want to cover anything up because it's all so pretty. I could put that there, though. I wouldn't mind that there. Um... Maybe that there. Maybe a little book page or something. It actually goes that way. Something like that. And a flower or a Tim Holtz person is what I'm thinking. Just so you know, you don't have to use these um, spackled papers with other spackled papers. You can just use them as a little accent. Jazzed up. Jazzed up scraps. Okay. Now, where's that little guy that needed a, something to put his... <laughs> oh, their ears kind of crack me up.
Oh, that one's better. I actually really like that. <laughs> Those little guys, I be cracking up every time I see their ears. Okay. So, I'm kind of wondering what my next project is because um, because I don't know. Okay, I kind of want to leave that. Maybe something there. I don't know what. They're brothers. I don't think they're just friends. So I don't think friendship works. Together does. Did put that on two different <laughs> two different ta uh, tags, but it's working for these folks that are together. Okay. It feels a little plain, but, oh, you know what might be good is, I'm running out of time here, guys. Just running out of time. I think I'm going to, looking for the numbers, Jim Holtz numbers, this one. Let's do a little stencil on there. Ah, where's my black? Do I have it over there? I do. Jeez, looking in the wrong place. I have it right handy. Well, that's walnut stain. I guess I don't have my black. Yes, I do. It's right here. Yikes. Got all sorts of confused with that. Okay, so I'm just going to do the two right there. Yeah. Maybe across here if I just I'm liking that better. It just needed a little bit of something. Okay. Cool. Yep. Liking that better. Alrighty then. So we got them all sorted and we got we got a half a dozen done which is awesome. I don't have the toppers for these yet, but I'll get them up here so you can see them. So there's that little one. There's the mushroom. There's mom and daughter. There's this one that was done and in the wrong spot, really. And this one. Love this with the leather. So yeah, that one. And then this one. So thanks everybody so much for watching. Thanks for helping me get week eight of Marguerite Miller done and get my tag situation under control. So um, I hope you have a grateful day and we'll just see you in the next video. Bye.